Excuse me, when is the next ship leaving for Fenmont? I'm afraid the Rashigal government has blockaded the capital and its surrounding regions. That means all scheduled voyages to Fenmont have been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. Are any ships sailing? Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, but the route to Sapstrath Seahaven is still open. Would you like a ticket to Sapstrath Seahaven? Very well. Please board the ship and await departure. That's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, it looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tipo, look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in! She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I've still got the key. But how much time does it buy me? Mila? You see something? No, I was just thinking. Elise, what are you going to do now? I... Hmm. What exactly do you know? We know Jude and Mila and Alvin are our pals! That's not the sort of thing I meant. What is Tipo, for instance? How can a doll talk? What do you mean, what's Tipo? You're looking at him! I'm Tipo! I'm Ellie's pal! Having a conversation with you is quite difficult. We don't seem to be on the same page. <laughs> We better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Looks like security is not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. 
It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Trust me, the beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right, I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up.
those wanted posters. Is that Jude and Mila? Wow, you both look so evil. That's supposed to be Jude and I? Well, this is lucky. If that's what they're looking for, there's no way they'll ever catch us. These are awful. Oh, I'm sure this can't be fun at your age. Kids can be so self-conscious. No, I don't care about me, but Mila looks terrible. He's right. This is quite unfortunate. The whole reason I assumed this form is because its appearance is effective against men. Half the human population. But if I'm as ugly as I appear in that poster, I need to fundamentally reevaluate my strategy. Wow, that is diabolical. I had no idea. Jude, be honest with me. Am I attractive from a male perspective? Uh, well, you're beautiful, in my opinion. And sexy! Ellie says she wants to look just like you. Tipo! You have nothing to worry about, Mila. So, what would you say are her finest features? Oh, maybe how good she smells, or those amazing curves. Yes, I see. Thank you for your invaluable opinion. My, my. Our little Jude is becoming a man. I was just speaking objectively. What is it? That woman. Quite a looker, eh? What do you think? Uh, this again? Found you, cat. Now come with us or else. N never mind. Just cancel my reservation. Alvin? I can't believe we fell for your pathetic lies. Please, I beg you, let me go. Please, you don't understand. Who are you working for? Tell us. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I think the lady's had enough. Mind your own business. You don't know what she's done. Hmm. Alvin, what's going on? Damn it! He's got friends. Let's get out of here. Cab, was it? That's an unusual name. Why did you help me? You don't know what they'll do to you. Well, how do I put this? He can't help it. Alvin's always had a weakness for pretty faces. <laughs> That's my Jude. Always kidding around. Now, how about you take her back to the inn and tend to her wounds? As you command, sir. She couldn't be one of them. Could she? Oh, hey. Have you seen Kat today? She left before dawn. Hey, over here! What's going on? This was no accident. Who would do such a thing? Kat! Did you know her? I'm sorry, but she's already gone. What happened? Was it those two men from yesterday? No, it wasn't them. Do you know who did this? Hey, could you give us a moment here? It won't take long. She never came out and said so, but I suspect Kat was a member of the Rats. The Rats? That's what they call the female spy organization that works for the Octal clan. They're one of the shadier tribes in Ajul. The Rats use women to gather intelligence. 
As their name implies, they sneak in anywhere, like rodents. They're pretty well known in Ajul. I can't believe it. I don't think those thugs from yesterday had caught on to her real identity. They must have been from the group she was spying on. They wouldn't have gone this far. Then who? Other rats. With her cover blown, she became a liability. I had a hunch that she might have been a spy, but... <sighs> this might be my fault. No, this isn't your fault. Are you guys done? Yeah, thanks for that. You okay? Yeah, these things happen. You just have to put it out of your mind. You can't save everyone, kid. So what's keeping this team? Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? 
Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. military checkpoint I knew things were too easy what do we do well hey what's over yonder that's the deep wood if we can hike our way through there we'll come out right near Sherilton then our path is clear it won't be easy going what about Elise you knew she'd face risks on this journey. <sighs> I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys! You're pals, remember? Elise. The girl has agreed, so this matter is no longer open to debate. Thank you. 